I got some raisin canes. <laughs> ah, yeah. Look at that. I had the six chicken tender combo with the fries and everything else here. And I have a root beer right here. Here's the sauce. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. The fries. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, let's just grab one of the chicken tenders. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, not so good. When I used to work a full-time job and anything happened to Raven, this really heavy feeling of anxiety would hit me and it would kind of cripple me and I wouldn't be able to do my job efficiently and mentally I would feel down and I wouldn't feel motivated at all until whatever that's going on with Raven like passes or I get a confirmation that she's okay. That feeling happened regardless if I was working from home or in the office. But working from home, that anxiety was a little bit less, maybe at certain times, but it still was really, really bad. But now that I'm not working a nine to five anymore, I feel so much more freedom and just my anxiety is not as bad anymore or is not even existent even, um, which is amazing. And it makes me feel fantastic. It feels like I have my life together, <laughs> you know? So like, just to get everyone up to speed, Raven's ACL surgery, the operation was a TTA, I believe is what it was called. The surgery was two days ago, it was June 1st. Today is June 3rd, and I feel fine. Like, I'm confident enough to leave the house. I have a camera set up actually, so that's why I feel pretty confident. I'm using my old phone as the camera. I have it set, I have it set up so I can see Raven. And whenever there's movement, <clears throat> there's a notification. So I know like if she's moving around and stuff like that. And I've kind of blocked her off in an area. And I was able to run some errands earlier. And that was really, really nice. And I was able to go buy this. <clears throat> but not needing to worry about having to go to work has just put me in such a better sort of mental state. Like right now, I can see Raven, you know, and then I can put my focus on her, I can put my focus on myself, and things are just so much better. I don't need to worry about like, oh, I have to be at work at a certain time and I have to do all this crap that I don't like doing. I'm not stuck at work thinking about Raven. I am free to do whatever I want right now and think about Raven or or just do whatever I want, you know? And this has been just so much more freeing. Like when I'm done with this sort of vlog, I am probably gonna see if I can go fishing. Raven looks fine. She has her meds, she is eating. She's actually had her first bowel movement earlier today and that really made me happy because things are going well, you know? She's recovering. <clears throat> and so, yeah, so yeah, things are going good. <laughs> and, uh, and right now, I'm just doing all the paperwork that I need to get paid by uh, uh, Mountain Dew. They go through like a separate third party company and that company is going to temporarily hire me and then I have to provide documents and all of that so that way they can pay me. It seems like a pretty complicated matter and it kind of is but I mean it's fine. I'm getting paid pretty well anyways and I'm glad that I increased my price dramatically. So any new companies that are working with me are gonna pay my price now. Any other companies that I've worked with prior, the price is going to stay the same. I'm not worried about increasing the price to match what my prices are now. And coleslaw. Mm. But right now I have a deer hide that is in a bucket or in a container. And surprisingly, it doesn't stink. It's in a ton of water but the deer hide was salted 
And so I think the salt is preventing any bacteria and all the other crap from growing and making it go bad. And so it's literally just sitting in sort of like salt water, I guess. And now that I feel like everything is pretty solid, like I know how I can take care of Raven. Mentally, I'm okay also. I think I can start my cleaning up the shed and getting everything else done that I need to get done. And I think I just got paid by another company that I worked with and it's a high amount also. It's going to help me um, feel secure for a while. And so if, if the letter is correct, things are going to be going well for the next couple of months. And so I was really concerned mainly because of Raven's surgery that came up and I had to pay like 3,500, <laughs> which was a lot. Um, but yeah, things are going well. I know people take the bread and they like cut it down the middle and then they sort of make like a sandwich. So I'm gonna try that. I don't have a knife on me right now. I should, but I'm just using the fork. I'm just going like this. There you go. Stick that in like that. Put in a bunch of the sauce. Put some of the relish in also. Well, this isn't relish, it's bam. <laughs> perfect. Mm, that was perfect. See, I'm sitting here eating while monitoring Raven. It makes me so happy that I can see that. <laughs> so once Raven is fully healed, it'll be about like mid-August or something. I want to start focusing at that time more on my health and Raven's health. Like right now, I technically should be worrying about my health now. <laughs> Um, but it's been difficult too, uh, but once Raven is like fully healed, she'll be active and she'll want to be active and it'll make me want to be active. Um, and we can go out on walks and exercise and stuff like that. I want Raven to cut some weight because she's gained a lot of weight from just laying around for the past couple of months. And she's going to be laying around for a past, for the next couple of months too. And so she's somewhat overweight at this point. I am too, um, and so the both of us need to cut some weight. Raven can cut probably, she's like 61 pounds right now. She can cut probably about 10 pounds or so. Yeah, I think 10 pounds would be a good weight for like, let's see here, so 51 pounds. Yeah, 51 pounds is a good target weight for her. And for me, I think I am 235 right now 235 I want to be like 210 I think and that's definitely possible if I don't stuff my face with this kind of food all the time <laughs> there's only a little bit left I'm gonna save it for later feel good Yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I've got a bunch of other videos that are in queue that I'm trying to finish editing and stuff. There's certain videos that require additional filming. So like there's a, there's a fishing video that I wanna do where in the beginning of the video, I say it's a catch and cook and I've already caught the fish and I've already like gutted and cleaned the fish, but I haven't cooked and eaten it yet. So I have to grab the fish, go back to the same fishing spot, wear the same clothing and then cook the fish and eat it. So it looks like a seamless, like one video in one day but it's taken me like four different days of filming and so yeah <laughs> i gotta do stuff like that and there's a bunch of fishing videos where um i just don't catch anything but i've gone to different places and it's just kind of cool to see that i've visited different areas and tried to fish but i just don't catch anything like there's one where I visited Sand Dunes State Forest and um, I found a beach area and I found a lake that's really cool and like the trees in the area is really cool also. It looks like I'm up north somewhere, um, but I wasn't able to catch any fish. 
and there's a bunch of other lakes that I visited where I just can't catch any fish and so yeah it, it, like the video I want to upload still and just put everything together and I'll basically be another like failed fishing attempt you know but eventually you'll see a video where I'm actually catching fish so yeah that's it for today's video I'm gonna go back inside I'm gonna give a little bit of chicken to Raven I'm gonna peel off the breading and stuff and give her some you know, I want to hang out with Raven for a little bit make sure she's comfortable and then uh, I am going to head out and go fishing and hopefully I can catch something big I just haven't been able to catch anything big lately nothing is biting I've been able to catch like small panfish like sunfish and stuff and you can only catch so much until it just gets boring you know <laughs> like it's still exciting to catch a fish but it just is the same old same old if you keep catching small fish i want to have that fight i want to like reel in i want them to pull the line and like fight you know and um, i'm having trouble like getting any bites from large fish so one of these days in the next couple of months you'll hopefully see me catch a big fish so yeah i appreciate you watching please smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already yeah check out my spread shop I have merch like this. The links are in the description. And yeah, I will see you next time. Peace out. <clears throat>